Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, welcome guys to the beginning of a new mini-series that I'm testing on the channel called Dokkan History, where we essentially delve into the past of Dokkan's history and talk about some crazy or weird or even awesome things that happened in the past so that newer players can get in on the joke or the meme if they weren't there and older players can I guess reminisce about some of the great or maybe not so great times depending on what we're talking about and today we are going to talk about one of those not so great times at least in global's history and that would be the 2B release leader skills for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and physical Omega Shenron. And let's jump into it guys. So it all started more than two years ago with the 200 million download celebration for both Global and JP. And as you can see, it started on August 10th of 2017, more than two years ago. And this was a really exciting celebration, man. It was a really, really crazy time, especially for me as a newer player at the time. I was hyped when they announced Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron were coming to global at the same time as JP, as I think most global players were, man. This was, this was huge, man. It was like, it was a big deal. And if you go down here, you know, it's, it's some good stuff, pretty much standard stuff you would expect, like the download banner, as well as the dual Dokkan Fest for Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We got their Dokkan events as well, and uh, everything was perfect, you know, like, we were just all super hyped. But then we realized that Global was still in the beginning to middle of the 120% meta with the Neo Gods. We had just received Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right before the celebration. And while JP already had the category system and the category update and they were good to go, there was no sign that this was coming to Global anytime soon. In fact, the Dokkan Festival that happened on Global right after the 200 million download celebration was for Physical Final Form Cooler. And then after that, we got uh, AGL Super 17. After that was Int Kid Boo. And then Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So if you guys weren't there for the 200 million download celebration when all of this went down, you might be thinking the logical conclusion would be to just bring the category system and the category update to Global early since you decided to give these category leads to both versions at the same time. It would be fair to allow global players to make the most use out of these units that they spent their stones and possibly a lot of money to pull, right? But <laughs> that didn't happen. Instead, Bandai's resolution or their compromise was to do this. So here is the notice or the news release, I guess, for the dual Dokkan festival for Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on global. And it just kills me to read this. It says, new SSR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron are here. Don't miss out on their phenomenal passive skills. Like, they knew what they were doing. They literally highlighted the passive skills as the selling point for these units because, scroll down just a little bit. Once again, don't miss out on their phenomenal passive skills. Please note that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron will be released simultaneously on all versions, but their leader skills won't be available at the moment and will be released in the future. Due to the difference or the version difference, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's and Omega Shenron's leader skills are not currently available. The effects of their leader skills will be released in the future and then will be announced. That, that was a real thing, guys. I'm not making this up. You can't make this stuff up. These guys were released on Global with no leader skills. And guess how long it took? Guess how long it took for these guys to actually get leader skills on Global? It wasn't until... I mean, the banner actually wasn't too bad. For the time, it was actually they were, they were pretty good banners. But that's besides the point, all right? That's besides the point. Moving on. It took until... November 6th of 2017, nearly three months later, when update 3.6.1 came to global, and we finally got the new category system that Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta finally got their leader skills for fusions and shadow dragons respectively. And <laughs> I mean, just think about it, man. People who spent so many stones, so much money to pull these guys on global, had to use them for three months basically without any leader skill. They couldn't run these guys to their full potential or run the teams to their full potential. 
just because Bandai didn't feel like releasing the category system early. I understand for like business purposes, maybe it didn't make the most sense, but hey, if you're gonna do that, then maybe just give us something different for the 200 million download celebration instead of releasing these units simultaneously and not giving us leader skills. Like, I don't, I don't have a screenshot right now, I don't know if you guys do, but I couldn't find it in my archives or my, you know, gallery. Um, but I didn't have a screenshot of the leader skill, but at the time, it literally just said, to be released. To be released. So if you guys see some memes out there about people saying, like, to be released or something like that, that's probably what they're referring to. And it was, like, a huge meme for the longest time. And even to this day, man, to this day, I see every once in a while some comments on Reddit or on Twitter or Instagram, something like that, of people saying to be released. And that's a reference to this, like, what happened here. And... You know what's funny is that at the time when this happened, I was a fairly new player. I'd only been playing for about six months, I think, and uh, I wasn't like super into it yet. Like I was playing, I enjoyed the game, but I wasn't like super hardcore about it, right? So um, I wasn't really sure if this was like the norm or something like that. And later on, I realized that no, this was not really the norm. It was just this, this like super weird thing that they decided to uh, to do, and. I really hope that nothing like this happens again because uh, as much as people complain about you know the disparity between the two versions between JP and Global and how it's unfair, um, the disparity was never more apparent, never more clear. I think when then when this happened because here were the JP players with their Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas and their Omega Shenrons running them with their leader skills, these like super strong. Uh, well, Fusions was better than Shadow Dragons at the time. Um, still might be to this day, but anyways, that's not the point. Um, running their Fusions teams, running their Shadow Dragons teams, while global players were just stuck still running the 120% teams, even when they had these category leads, they couldn't even use them for that purpose because Bandai decided to not release the leader skills, not release the category system until three months later. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, like I said, I really hope that doesn't happen again or something similar doesn't happen again because that's just crazy, man. That is just, it blows my mind that it actually happened, but it did. And that's what this video is here for, to educate you guys on the happenings, the crazy things that happened in Dokkan's past. That was definitely one of them. And that should do it for the first episode of Dokkan History. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have some other great ideas too for uh, talking points, future videos such as the 300 stones compensation meme. If you guys have any good ideas for future video topics, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know about any constructive criticism you have about this series because I want to make it as good as possible for you guys. So if you have any ideas for how to improve this series and make it more interesting, also let me know in the comments. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.